Hi everyone, thank you for being here today. I am Elif and I am a Cognitive Science Master student at Yedi Tepe University. Today I will present you our study about visual crowding, which consists of two behavioral experiments. First of all, I would like to explain what visual crowding is. As you can see on the left side, when the target is presented alone, it's easy to detect. Whereas when neighboring elements are presented, the perception of peripherally presented targets strongly worsens, what we call visual crowding. Former studies have shown that the strength of crowding depends on the laws of grouping. As the similarity between target and flanker increase, the strength of crowding increases too. For example, in there, there is a similarity and grouping between targets and flankers in terms of shape, size, color, and orientation. However, in there, these principles are violated and it facilitates the detection of the target. In the present study, we aim to investigate the role of configuration and contour on visual crowding. Our independent variables had two levels. We used a triangle for sharp-edged contour and a circle for curved-edged one. We also manipulated the overall configuration of the screen, either smooth or random. We collected reaction time and accuracy from the participants. According to grouping hypothesis, we expect the strong crowding and the worst performance from the smooth configurations regardless of the contour, as seen on the upper and lower left. Also, we expect to find a significant advantage of sharp-edged contour over a curved-edged one, because a triangle consists of simple lines and intersections, which can create an identification advantage over a curved one. This is the typical depiction of array design in both experiments, and participants were asked to indicate the position of the target either left or right. Sharp-edged trials were responded faster than curved-edged ones. Neither of the main effects of configuration or interaction was reflected on reaction time. Advantage of sharp-edged contour was observed in accuracy analysis, as we expect and random configurable trials, the pink ones, were responded more accurate than the smooth ones. Why we conduct the second experiment? Because we cannot find a significant main effect of configuration on reaction time, that's why we manipulate the validity of the configuration. And we use the mixed contour design instead of a mirror image. It means that in the mixed design, Two types of contours are placed at the same time in each trial, and the rest of the procedure and the material are the same with the first experiment. These are the new conditions in the second experiment, especially these ones. There is a global and local coherence in the first experiment. It means that small triangles can position to form only a large triangle. However, in the second experiment, they can position to form a large circle. As in the first experiment, sharp edge trials, the gray ones, were responded faster than curved ones. And a new finding from the reaction time analysis revealed that random and curved configurable trials were responded faster than sharp ones. Also, there was nearly interaction. Accuracy analysis replicates findings from the first experiment. Performance was obviously better in sharp edge contour and random configurable trials. Both experiments have consistent results, and these are the common implications from them. 1. Sharp-edged contour was faster and more accurate than curved-edged one. 2. The strength of crowding was weak in sharp-edged contour and random configural condition, as you can see in there. 3. Grouping and similarity are K for the strength of crowding. 4. Global and local coherence is not necessary for grouping. Having a pattern is enough to crop severely. Thanks for listening. This is the end of my presentation. I will be happy to answer your questions. You can find our contact information from this slide. Thank you.